As part of the Cisco Express networking certification, you will be required to have a fundamental understanding of the Cisco Meraki MR platform. In this video, we'll discuss some of the main feature set of the Cisco Meraki wireless solution, such as the dedicated third radio for air marshal and auto RF, the Meraki self-healing mesh technology, the engagement solution such as CMX analytics and Bluetooth low energy, and as well as take a look at the indoors and outdoor models access point that we have available today. Let's jump right in. The Meraki MR platform is the industry-leading cloud-managed wireless solution with very robust feature set that make them ideal for demanding enterprise deployments. The MR series access point provide enterprise security with layer 3 firewall rules that are based on IP addresses and port, layer 7 firewall rules for application control. These can be used to block traffic at the application level, such as peer-to-peer -peer traffic, streaming services such as YouTube and Spotify, or any bandwidth intensive applications. Or instead of blocking the application, traffic shaping rules can be configured to limit the, the amount of bandwidth that an individual application can use. This feature allows seamless implementation of BYOD policies, where corporate and personal devices connecting to Meraki access point, they can be restricted from the network based on their operating system information. For example, allowing all devices to connect to the network except the Android and iOS devices. Up to 15 SSIDs can be configured on the Meraki wireless network and they can be protected in many different ways, all the way from WPA2 pre-share key to an authentication against an external radio server. The Meraki access point also features splash page functionalities in the form of click-through, Facebook logins, Google authentication, building splash pages, and for, and for flexibility, external splash pages also supported through our API. And in terms of warranty, all indoor models access point have lifetime replacement warranty because we believe in the quality of our products. And speaking of Meraki indoor access points, we have classified them in the following two groups, general purpose and future proof. The general purpose access points are designed for robust wireless networks, but not necessarily for high density deployments. The MR18, is our entry level 3 radio access point with 802.11N technology that support 2x2 MIMO. The MR32 is the entry level 802.11AC access point with 4 radios and it also supports 2x2 MIMO. Now onto the future proofing group, the MR30H is a wireless solution oriented to the hospitality vector, ideal for hotel, university, dorms, or multi-dwelling deployments. It is an 802.11ac wave 2 access point with four radios that support 4x4 MU MIMO. MU MIMO or multi-user MIMO technology allows the access point to serve two MU MIMO clients at the same time, making use of the airtime more efficiently. The MR30H wall plate access point features four integrated gigabit ports with one of those ports that support PoE+, Plus, which is perfect for IP phones and IP TVs in the immediate vicinity of the Meraki AP. The MR33 is an updated version of the MR32 with a very sleek and compact design with all of the 802.11ac Wave 2 benefits. Now the MR42, it is an 802.11ac Wave 2 access point supporting 3x3 MU MIMO designed for high density deployments. And lastly, the MR52 and the MR53, they are also benefited from the 11ac Wave 2 characteristic or technology for next generation deployments. They come with dual Ethernet ports on the MR52. The two ports are gigabit ports that can be aggregated together via LACP and the MR53 comes with a gigabit port and the second port is a multi gigabit port where you can achieve speed up to 2.5 gigabit per second. And here you probably saw some of the Meraki access point have three radios or four radios. 
and also the Bluetooth symbol. I will explain what this means on the upcoming slides. Now, on the outdoor access point models, the MR62 and the MR66 are the entry-level access points with 802.11n capabilities. The MR62 is a single radio access point that only supports 2.4 GHz band connection. And the MR66 is a dual radio access point that supports both the 2.4 and the 5 GHz band connections. The MR72 is an 802.11 AC access point that is very similar to the indoor MR32 access points. And lastly, the MR84 is the future proofing multi gigabit access point with 802.11 AC wave 2 characteristic, such as MU MIMO and larger channel width support. The outdoor access points come with external attachable OMNI antennas, or options for directional antennas can be acquired separately. If you recall from one of the previous slides, some of the Meraki access points have three radios and four radios. One of the strong differentiators of the Meraki access point solution is the dedicated third radio that is constantly monitoring the RF spectrum serving two primary purposes. One is the wireless intrusion prevention system, also known as Meraki Air Marshal, and two is the RF optimization, also known as Auto RF. From the security aspect, on the three radio and four radio access point, basically all the access point that we saw in the previous slides, except the MR62 and the 66, the Meraki access point can scan across all the 2.4 and 5 GHz channels in surrounding RF environment, looking for potential wireless threat and neutralizing those threats to protect the network from malicious attack on a full-time basis. It is very important to know that even though wireless corporate networks can be secure with robust network access control mechanism, there's still a potential need for a WIP solution. For instance, an employee of a company without any malicious intent can plug in his home wireless router to an open port around his desk with the hope to obtain additional wireless coverage. However, in this scenario, a security breach can be created exposing the internal network to potential malicious users. The Meraki Air Marshal Web solution combat this wireless threat by detecting them and taking action. Some of the threats that we're able to detect and take actions are rogue SSIDs or rogue access point. We can shut them down so that wireless clients cannot connect to them. SSID spoofing, malicious broadcast, packet flood, and others. When these threats are detected, the access point can take action to neutralize those threats and notify the network administrators. In addition to the security aspect of the dedicated third radio, the second purpose of this dedicated radio is as equally as important as the air marshal in a wireless network. We refer to this second purpose as auto RF, which is the Meraki signature RF optimization mechanism. With auto RF, Every access point on the Meraki network continuously and automatically monitor its surrounding for any sort of interference that could affect the wireless performance. The access point periodically samples the RS spectrum, retrieving interference metrics that are uploaded to the Meraki cloud. The Meraki cloud then, armed with real-time and historic data, continuously assesses the health of the entire network dynamically tuning the wireless channel selection, transmit powers, and client's connection setting to automatically adapt to changing interference conditions, ensuring optimal wireless performance. The MR series access points, in addition to providing secure wireless connectivity, can also help to provide business insight through valuable analytics as part of the Meraki CMX location analytics engagement solution. By default, all the Meraki access points gather raw data on probing clients from the surrounding environment and upload that data in real time to the Meraki cloud for analysis. That data is then presented in an easy to consume statistic view that can be used to improve customer engagement and loyalty. Other key benefits to the CMX analytics is to understand user behavior and foot traffic for specific time periods and use that information to make decisions on staffing, 
a storefront design, or employee and BYOD policies. Location analytics data can be obtained per site and can be compared with one another within dashboard to help the business understand the success and deficit of each of the sites and take well-educated action. And for flexibility, the collected CMA data can be exported to an external server for further analysis and usage. Another key feature of the Meraki access point is mesh technology. The MR series access points support wireless meshing through a Meraki advanced proprietary mesh protocol. The solution is ideal for deployment where wireless coverage needed, however, cable runs is very challenging. When Meraki access points are deployed, they automatically scan through all the 2.4 and 5 GHz channels looking for a Meraki access point to establish a mesh relationship with. The process requires zero configuration whatsoever. Meraki wireless mesh networks support advanced self-healing capabilities. When a Meraki access point establishes a mesh relationship with more than one node, the access point in the mesh network constantly updates its routing table with the most optimal path to the gateway. If the ideal path changes for some reason due to node failure or route metric, the traffic will flow via the best possible path. And lastly, another engagement solution within the Meraki MR wireless solution is the Bluetooth beacons or Bluetooth low energy. On Meraki access points such as the MR32, 42, 52, 53, 72, and the MR84, a fourth dedicated radio is integrated on those access points. The fourth radio is a dedicated Bluetooth radio that can be used for asset tracking. The Meraki access point with those four radios can scan for Bluetooth enabled devices. For instance, low energy Bluetooth tags can be deployed on corporate assets, and then the Meraki devices or the Meraki access points can listen to those beacon advertisements to track the location and presence of those assets. And in addition to asset tracking, the Bluetooth radio can also be used to enable more active customer engagement through mobile integration available through Meraki Bluetooth API. A Meraki customer can put Beacon to work by developing a Beacon Aware application for mobile devices to recognize one-way Beacon advertisement for Meraki devices or Meraki access points. Now, a use case for customer engagement with Bluetooth Beacon, for instance, could be that a customer has installed a mobile app application on his smartphone from one of his, one of his favorite coffee shops. The customer at his home can place an order on his application and then several minutes he can drive there and pick it up. When he arrives to the site, the application on the phone can detect the Meraki beacons, the Meraki Bluetooth beacon, and the application can automatically notify the barista that the customer has arrived, and an acknowledgement notification can be triggered on the application to notify the customer that his order is ready for pickup. In this video, we discuss some of the main feature set of the Meraki MR wireless platform, such as the dedicated third radio for air marshal and auto RF, the self-healing mesh technology, the engagement solutions such as CMX analytics and Bluetooth low energy, and we also took a look at the Meraki MR models. This concludes the MR platform section. Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm here today to help you learn how to effectively demo the Cisco Meraki MR wireless access points uh, using our web-based dashboard. So we're going to cover a couple of big topics in this quick video, uh, highlighting a few of the key feature sets that are of note and unique to uh, Meraki access points. First and foremost, we're going to highlight visibility. So both general visibility, sort of the ability to go in and see who's on your network, what kinds of clients, what kinds of applications are being run, where the bandwidth is going, that sort of thing, just very, very quickly and at a very high level. And then we're also going to spend some time on the rich set of diagnostic and troubleshooting tools that are available. And then we're going to take a look at some of the built-in integrated security that comes standard with all Meraki access points. 
Uh, we're going to look at some of the uh, cloud-based location analytics uh, and engagement that's possible. Again, something standard on all Meraki access points. And then finally, we're going to wrap up with a look at how easy and intuitive and quickly uh, network admins can get up and running with guest Wi-Fi and splash pages. So we're going to cover all of that uh, in the next couple of minutes and we're going to start with visibility. So first thing, when we're talking about visibility, I like to start off by showing this organizational view uh, because this is such an easy, easy way for customers to come in and very, very quickly see the status, the health status and connectivity status of all of their networks, wherever in the world that they happen to be deployed. You know, as I'm sure you know, all Meraki equipment, including the MR access points, have been built from the ground up to be cloud managed, 100% cloud managed. So literally from one single pane of glass interface, you can come in and see your wired networks, your wireless networks, your mobile devices, your phones, and it's so easy to find a ton of information just from this one page. You can literally click and drill down into uh, any of these little icons here to get more information about the health and connectivity status of your network equipment, wherever it happens to be deployed. Or you can come in and quickly search for a network by name uh, if you're managing hundreds or thousands of networks and just click into it and immediately come into a client's view, which is also standard across all Meraki equipment, wired and wireless, um, but is particularly wonderful with the MR because, you know, when you're managing a wireless network, right, you have so many different types of devices connecting, so many different um, ways that your bandwidth is getting used, and oftentimes, you know, for a given time frame, uh, a network admin is going to want to come in and, and very, very, very quickly see, okay, who are my top uh, bandwidth consumers? You know, if I want to come in and actually see what applications are consuming my bandwidth for a given time frame. That's also incredibly easy to do too. I can just very quickly come in, sort by usage, uh, you know, and if I have questions or concerns about a particular category of content, very easily click into that as well. And right away, come in and see the clients that are contributing to that bandwidth um, and that usage right there. Also, um, what I can do is just from the wireless section, come in right away, go to wireless, come to monitor and access points, and see a list of the health and connectivity and uh, basic stats for all of my wireless access points for a given time frame deployed in a given network. And of course, we can always uh, hop, skip, and jump around just by searching or clicking into other networks to get health and connectivity status for those access points as well. And this is, again, completely customizable in many ways. You can, you can add and select columns, and uh, literally if you uh, click into any access point here, you can get granular detailed information about that access point. So what we're looking at, green of course means that it's up, it's online, it's good. <laughs> Good. Uh, we're looking at a MR34 access point, for example. We can get a list of all the wireless SSIDs that this access point has been configured for, and some of them are broadcasting, some of them not. Right now, you can get some information on channel uh, and signal strength, IP information. You know, you can uh, expand this a little bit more, uh, get a little bit more information about IP. One of the also very cool things, um, you know, if you're integrating with Meraki switches uh, is that you can literally um, see the uh, the port, um, the, you know, the switch name and the port that your access point is connected to, uh, and in true Meraki fashion, just clicking onto any of these things would bring you to the switch, so that you could actually go in and look at the switches, uh, you know, um, configuration. Uh, and so you can see there's a ton of information here, um, even real-time statistics on power consumption. You can check your firmware. You're getting live statistics about usage in real time. Uh, and then if you want to go in and see some historical data, you can do that. And, of course, uh, right away we're letting you know, okay, well, who's connected to this access point right now? What's their IP address? 
Uh, and if I wanted to uh, drill down into any particular client, uh, I could click onto that client and get even more information. So I can see that this is a wirelessly connected client with the access points. You have the ability to um, you know, come in and upload floor plan views. We can actually see this client connected to the AP that we uh, were, were clicked in on in the previous page. I can actually get a sort of rough estimate of where that client might be uh, and lots and lots of information. So let's go back to the, uh, the listing of access points really quickly and just want to show you how easy uh, it is to um, come in and also get some information uh, that may be tough to find otherwise. So one of the really cool features um, of Meraki networks that have switching deployed is this feature called topology. Um, so literally this was the access point that we were on. This is all automatic, it's all built in. You can literally go in and have your, your network uh, diagrammed out for you and get lots and lots and lots of information about, uh, you know, basically the topology of your network. And there's a whole slew of built-in tools for remote diagnostics and troubleshooting. So these are called uh, live tools basically and it's um, easy to come in and, and literally do things like ping a site, make sure your APs up and online, um, you know, make sure that you don't have any uh, uh, latency or loss. You can see our, our APs online. Um, you can also come in and uh, do things like reboot a device, check the throughput, uh, do some trace routes, check your arc table, things like that. Uh, you can come in and do things like see your uh, RF utilization broken out by channel. So let's give it a second to uh, load up here. Most of our access points, in fact, I think all of our access points now have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios. Um, many of them, if not most of them, also have an integrated Bluetooth um, low energy radio as well for beaconing purposes, uh, and also an integrated radio dedicated solely to wireless intrusion uh, detection and prevention, uh, and that's our air marshal feature, so we'll, we'll talk about that in the next section. So the next topic I love to demo for potential clients is our built-in security that comes in every single MR access point that we call air marshal, and you get to it basically by navigating um, from wireless to Air Marshal right here under the monitor column. And essentially what Air Marshal is, is it's built in intrusion detection and prevention for our access points. And it's deployed via a continuously running, continuously scanning, dedicated third radio that sits in the access points monitoring the uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands for malicious activity like rogue SSIDs, spoofs, malicious broadcasts, packet flooding, that kind of thing. And from this single page, uh, we're looking actually right now at our San Francisco office. You see all of the Meraki access points that we have deployed here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you have a little bit of a better view. When you hover over these identified threats, you can actually go in and, um, and sort of see an approximate place on the map uh, where these threats have been identified. So if you need to go to a particular corner of your building or, uh, or you know, or out in the parking lot or something like that, you uh, have a good sense of uh, where you might need to look. And there's a lot of different things that you can configure here, um, primarily around whether you want to automatically contain uh, rogue access points, for example, on your LAN or uh, sort of just have them here and be notified. Um, but literally scrolling through, you can see all different kinds of stuff um, here about potential malicious activity on your wireless network. Next, I like to quickly touch on the dynamic tuning capabilities of Meraki access points. And what I do is I go to wireless, and then under the configure column, I go to radio settings, and this table pops up. I personally like to look at the map 
view. But the point to make here is that channel planning really becomes nearly automatic. Uh, the, the transmit power, the channel, and both the channel number and its width are, are optimized in Meraki access points for enhanced performance and to provide the best roaming experience possible. But if you really want to, uh, you can come in, you can select an access point and come in and manually tune and tweak settings as you please. So you can come in uh, and set both the channel and the power for each of those radios. Again, MR access points come with both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios and that third dedicated scanning radio for wireless intrusion uh, detection and prevention. And then along the same lines, it's useful to go in and show customers uh, the, the RF spectrum data that gets collected by every single MR access point. So, um, you know, raw spectrum data, it's, it's always being collected. Uh, you can see in this spectrum tool um, any sort of interference with the environment, uh, you know, maybe coming from things like microwave ovens, uh, and uh, get a better, more granular view into average channel utilization across your radios and access points. So if I come in here right away uh, looking at uh, some of the access points in uh, my, my network here, uh, and if I click into any single one of these, getting some real-time information, and I can switch between uh, you know, which channels I want, uh, but literally seeing a, a sort of map buildup of the uh, interference happening and even getting a list of interfering access points uh, that are impacting this particular um, wireless AP on my network. One of my all-time favorite things to demo to potential customers is our CMX Location Analytics. So CMX standing for Connected Mobile Experiences. And these are features built into the MR that display real-time location statistics uh, to improve customer engagement and loyalty across sites with metrics that reveal traffic trends such as dwell time and new versus repeat visitors. Um, so one of the, the features of, of our, our location analytics is this uh, locations heat map. And you get to this map by navigating uh, from wireless to location heat map here. And we've uploaded floor plans for our network uh, so what we're looking at is our uh, fifth floor, and essentially what this is showing you um, is, is data that the, the MR access points collect. So this is Wi-Fi data, such as probe requests and RSSI information from various mobile devices, like uh, you know mobile phones, for example. And this information is used to paint a historical heat map that visualizes and plots uh, user density trends uh, and that you can see on floor plans. So we can see our uh, Meraki access points here. And literally, um, I, can, I can come here and I can press play. And I can see on the fifth floor, uh, you know, how devices, some that are connected to our wireless uh, networks, some that aren't but that have been detected, how these devices are moving around, uh, around our building over time. And so you can see, um, I'm zooming out a little bit, you can see uh, as uh, the day wears on, it gets very, very busy over here on the fifth floor. And, and then we should see that taper off and become more green. Um, yes, you can see very early in the morning here uh, at, at sort of non-business hours. So very, very cool. So the only other thing I want to highlight about CMX Location Analytics is that we do have an API for all of this um, so that developers can get access to the raw client data. Now, where can you go to find information about this? Well, if you go to developers.meraki.com and you come down to our API docs and come into Location API, there's a wealth of information here for you um, to help you understand how to implement the API successfully for your organization. And with that, I conclude this demo.